mm-hmm. Eight Mile, the TV show. Yeah. That's Series. dope. Yeah, it's going to be big. big. I'm, you know, I'm working. I'm not going to keep, you know, I ain't got no duds. Right, I'm batting I know. 100, I'm batting 100. Eight batting Mile, the, 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 whose idea is that? Like, does it, it, do you have to convince him? Because Eight Mile is a classic. Mm-hmm. No, I think it, it should be there for his legacy. Because yeah. If, if you don't see, it's important to me that they understand it. You know what I mean? Like, like when Stout would say the tannin of America because America's listening to black music, mm-hmm. right? And it's really the culture losing its color for, for everybody to feel like they can enjoy it and appreciate it. Because they see someone who's accepted and respected on the whole. Oh, man. It, it makes them a part of it also. You know what I'm saying? And, mm-hmm. and then you start to have all of the, the, you see the new artists, you see the, Mm-hmm. You guys pop out all the time. and talented. Where does this 8 Mile TV show in your head, does it start with a young Eminem? Have, have you thought that much about it? Yeah, yeah I thought about it. It's, it's a modern version. It's like, think uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Right. The, the, way. New, the new version of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Like that. So I I do, I want to be able to show it and, and offer a, a lot more details. Things that you would say in an interview or different things that you've already used that you put out there and stuff like that. You'll see those things kind of surface. In- One thing with you, man, you 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 execute. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm gonna get it done. Yeah, yeah. You 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 execute. You know, so yeah, I can't. I'm gonna do Snoop's story too, even though we we paused on it because of stars, because I was having issues with them over there. Right. At the time. So I I, I paused the case. But I think oh. I think Snoop is uh if the old Dre child works why wouldn't murder was the case work at this oh point? Oh my God! Bro. The music yeah. business is at now. Yeah, you say that you coming with new music for twenty twenty three. Yeah, and the music business man is fickle, and some people want to run away from the music yeah. business, especially when they find a success that you found. Right. You know what I'm saying? What makes you say I want new music in twenty twenty three? Because I I can make what I want to make. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not relying on them to be excited or to buy it at this point. I just want to <laughs> tour, big. I just want to tour. I know. Like 36 countries of sold out in arenas, no support acts, no, uh, no uh, Live Nation to support the right straight to venue, big money. Because I, I supported the tour myself. I heard Damn, that. Bet, yeah. Put down and invested in yourself. Yeah. What does that feel like to go out at, damn near after 20 years after Get Rich? You know, Get, get Rich or Die Trying, and the audience still show up, it's especially a, in the business where you're here today and gone yeah, tonight. It's amazing, man. And and it's also, I attribute that to also being connected to the three-headed monster. Mm-hmm. It's also Eminem and Dr. Dre. Right. You sound, people forget. They forget what it really, really is. Big, like, look at this. Our culture, when you, when you see new artists, you see them with these Lamborghinis, these Rolls Royces and Bentleys and stuff like that. Hip hop was not earning that kind of money. Mm-hmm. Right. It grew to a point that is earning that kind of money now. And you look when when you subjected to not having much in, in the cities and these environments where a lot of the talent is coming from. Don't nobody buy nothing. They don't buy shit. You got to ask them when the last time you actually went and bought a CD, right? Or or, or paid for the actual right. record because they'll they'll get it the best way they can. Like they're the great promoters. They're the tastemakers. They're the strongest influences in the world. Mm-hmm. And but they don't buy it. There's a kids in middle America out there that they gotta get in the car and drive to find trouble. It's nothing but a DNA back. Right, 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 right. They fall in love with you say everything. stars. You made people go to stars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stars yeah. could have been there, could have been in your your, you know, in your cable mm-hmm. or your satellite package. But we weren't sitting down every day saying, Check or, it out. Yeah. yeah, I got to watch this on stars. If you got the number one, two, three, and the four highest rated shows in African American and Latin households, like, so it's, it's, it's going. Like, there's no way to, to have it be a, a singular focus. Because even with multiple things running. Right, yeah, yeah, definitely. It does feel like it feels better to do that. Because I know I'm not going to not go left on me. Right, 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 right. You know, You're going to show up. I'm going to do what I got to yeah. do. And then the other... You're not going to be dissing yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, <laughs> like, man, wait, what did I put out on social media about me? Yeah, like, big you go... Because this is the thing. When artists are unhappy, you know whose fault it is. It's the label's fault. Right, right. Whenever it doesn't work, because they place... Look at it now, the new artists, they meet the audience before they meet the, the, the uh, record company. Yeah. Because they, they made the joint, they put it out right. on iTunes, it's out, they start to... 
heat up and that they, they get the record company around them for structure, a, 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 a group of people that can uh, organize it mm-hmm. and make it work to its full potential. When that happens, then they're like, yo, you know, that's cool. But the business, when we hear amazing artists and you go, what happened to them? Like, where'd they go? They wasn't done making music after two albums. Like, where the rest of the music at? And, and it just, the business happened to them. So it's like if the, the company loses focus, mm. if they're not in the red on it, on the project so much, then they go, yo, you know, okay. Yeah, yeah, just, let's let's get that next single. If it doesn't, when the ball hit the wall, if it bounces off big, then the, that's the end of it. Right. You know what I mean? You got certain guys that are, uh, their relationships made them so powerful, like in, in our business, that they can't be moved. Like like Dre, I don't I don't think you understand. Like this is why you've never heard me say anything negative about him. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And, and also connected to like like M because M's uh, our relationship. My Eminem is Dr. Dre is Eminem's. To I am to Eminem to me is yeah. what Dr. Dre is to, to Eminem. Eminem. Yeah. So to disrespect him in any way is just you out of pocket. You're not even following the chain of command. That Do way. y'all ever have like before? Was there ever any disagreements? You know, there's certain things that you just don't take to the public because it it's not for the public. Yeah, yeah. Like if there's like, well, with Dre, not much. Like you mm-hmm. just he just do he gonna do what he want to do regardless. Mm-hmm. Right? Like and you going like Jimmy. Those relationships, that's a different kind of relationship. Bro. Right. That, that was, like, even when it was East Coast, West Coast, they are the West Coast, bro. Right, yeah. Like, the whole thing. So you go, when when I get over here and you're, you're an East Coast artist, Ye, Ye, Ye has said this in the interview. He's like, um, there was a point where, like, I said I felt like a, a New York Nick ball player in the L.A. locker room. Right? <laughs> like, because I was like, yo. Yeah. Visitors. Yeah. Right, right. Like, I'm like, yo, wait, I'm... I'm we should be home here. I'm yeah. home. This is the home team. But it was, it was, it was never. You seen even when the war show thing happened, we was there. Mm-hmm. It's because you're supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. Like that's just the way I was raised. But English is their Amen. second language. Like if not their first language, then how do they catch yo yo what's up? Right. What's up? Right here. <laughs> what do you mean it's up? Right. It means yeah. we need to move because you're getting ready to start shooting. You know what I mean? Like, but he, he, they don't know the lingo. Like, if they're not paying attention to the music to understand that there's a problem getting ready to mm-hmm. take place. Where did you go to on tour? Where did that tour take you to? I, I went through, um, man, so many oh, like, thirty six countries. I was making money and it, it just was. I could the aspirational lifestyle that connects in, in hip hop culture. And in, in youth culture, that is totally my journey. Like, I want to live, not be someone new, but be better mm-hmm. than in the, the position that I was in. And then when you look at, like, the kids now, their they're role models or the person that they look up to has a, a, is putting the most work in. Is it rap money, mm-hmm. brand money, or, like, executive producer money? It's... it's uh, it's crazy because the television is catching brand money now. It's it's starting to match up with with the brand money. And when we do think yeah. of when you said I got a meal out the deal, oh, that's way just way different. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because when you got that million, bro, were you thinking like and, and, and coming from a hustler and so on and so forth? You know you're gonna make your your dollars. It's mm-hmm. not, it's non tax. You are moving around, but it's a different kind of hustle yeah. that you're doing. When somebody, when you get a million dollars, bro, do you think that a million, not that it could last you for your rest of your life, but do you think, man, I'm on? When I wrote that line, big, a million dollars at the lifestyle that we was living prior to that, you could live your whole life. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? And the the difference is now, like, when you, the, the like, the new artists, the new climate, stuff to, like that, that million dollars will be gone. Yeah, man. Like, they, some of them walk around with, with a million dollars on. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen they it. They did the jury. They go crazy because because they, they got to show you. They try to create a separation between them and the other artists, like by by right having things that they can't have or or something that they. And yeah, it's a I saw this dude at a quinceanera, fifteen year old's party, and he had these big ass diamonds in, and I was like, man, those would be like two hundred thousand dollars in ear. Uh-huh. But everybody, we want this look. Yeah, we all we also want this look, That's bro. True. And then you know. It, it, even if the earring was fake, big. Yeah. It's just an earring. Right. You know, it, it takes a little while for you to get to it. Like, And even that brother that had that earring will find that. 
at some point. He's going. It's going to time after a while. He'll be like, yo, yeah, <laughs> yeah, give me my money back.